Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a 15 by 30 canvas. Um, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors. I'm also using Artist Law Flow Acrylic White as my base. Um, for many of you who watch my videos and watch other artist videos, you'll know that we've been having some problems with the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White popping up with these little bitty white cells and kind of eating up our colors that we pour out. Um, so I have changed up the mixture on this a little bit. I'm going to see if that uh, works or if I still get the cells. So we'll get you, I'll get you down on the canvas now and we'll talk about the colors and we'll talk about the composition. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, so I've been really putzing around here with what kind of design I want to do. Um, I think what I've settled on is starting here in the middle and making a, like a V shape to the top corners. And then I can do a branch off into these corners, which would leave, I'm going to blow a little bit this way into the negative space, but leaving that as it is and leaving a little bit in here is negative. So I don't know how well that's gonna look. We'll see. Uh, we got a little bug that decided to commit suicide. Sorry, little fella. You gotta get out of there. Did I get him? Yeah, he's out of there. Okay, let's talk about our paint today. Today, as I said, I'm going to go back and use this Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And so what I did is I mixed mainly Floatrol and paint and just a little bit of water. So inside this container, I've got 400 grams of Floatrol, 200 grams of paint and total about, I think it was 25 grams of water. So this paint is thick. It's gonna be very hard to move it around the canvas. So I am gonna to have to probably load up on the colors because those co the colors that I'm using are mixed at my standard ratio of 80 grams of Floetrol, 40 grams of paint, and 35 grams of water. So they're gonna be tremendously thinner compared to this white. Um, the colors today we're going to use are Amsterdam's Prussian Blue, Pebeo's Iridescent Blue Green, we are using Amsterdam's Permanent Red Violet. Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Deco Art Peak Pink Tourmaline Sheen. Amsterdam's Permanent Blue Violet. This is a very, very deep purple. Um, and of course, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. So. I am a Virgo, sapphire is my birthstone, so needless to say, I do love blues, purples. I've always been drawn to bright pink, or bright bright colors, I should say, not necessarily bright pink, but I like pinks too, so. All right, I'm gonna pour out my white now. And again, this is gonna be very thick. And I do like to pour along the edge because then I use the hairdryer to blow the paint over. And then we come back through here. Should have enough. Hope so. All right, let's blow this out. So I did mix this up a little while ago, so 
It is thicker, so there are some air bubbles. So I will pop those now. I don't know what's going on with their uh, Artist Lofts mixture. Um, maybe they're using different pigments in the paint. So the first color we're going to put down is the Prussian Blue. Don't explode all over me, please. There we go. See, good thing I put a napkin over it because it wanted to explode. So I would say the middle is about right here. And I'm going to make an arc over here. And then the same thing from here over there. All right. And a branch out this way. And a branch out that way. Okay. Be very interesting. Iridescent blue-green. Same thing. We're going to put down a lot because I do think we're gonna have some issues getting the paint to move across this thick white. I have to say, this color is one of my favorites. All right. This color combo is really beautiful too. Twenty-four karat gold. A little goes a long way with the gold, so we're not going to use as much. Okay. Pink tourmaline. Got a lot of uh, iridescent colors, metallic. So that's going to give this piece some great shine. Permanent blue violet from Amsterdam. Another deep color here. And top it all off with one of my other favorites, the metallic cobalt blue. All right. Let's torch these colors. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this branch here and I'm going to move this way first, just a little bit out. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll blow this way. We'll see. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to start over here.
stay more V-like, but that's okay. I think what I'm gonna do go that way with that. work my way out of this because I don't want to touch this over here I just want to get some of this out <music> some of this color out this way there we go now I can add my white back in not too much For those of you who are interested in like, how do I choose my colors? Um, definitely look at a color wheel and see what colors complement each other. You know, colors that are side by side on the color wheel complement each other. And colors across from each other on the color wheel will complement each other. They're opposites. So um, it's, it's a matter of picking the paints that you're looking to make to use in your piece, but then you want to pick colors that are going to complement each other. So I like to pick a light, a dark, a light, a dark, a light, a dark. Um, and I like to throw in the metallics and the uh, iridescence because those bring out the shine and shimmer. Um, this piece just wow. Scrape the edges with popsicle stick. S this stops all of the paint from running over the edge. And you're going to have to come back several times to do this. Because, especially this painting that I did, because it is a lot of paint on here. Put this over here. I think that's going to do it. I will bring you down and show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, here is the wet result. Wow, I mean, the colors really are vibing together. I mean, it's beautiful. Let me take you in here. Look at that. You can just see all of the shimmer that's coming in from the iridescent, from the metallic, just beautiful. 
So here's those little white cells um, that we were talking about. This is considerably less than what it has been. So it's definitely adding water to the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White that is creating the little cells. See, these little cells here, that's normal. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. What's happening though, is I'll show you once we get over to the other side. So as we come up here, good. You start to see a little bit of it here. It's not too bad. Over here, yes. So what happens is this color here should have kept going this way. And what happens is the white, it didn't get blown over far enough. And so then the white started creeping back in. So I'm really hoping it doesn't go any further than that. But overall, I'm very, very pleased with this. There's some more cells here, but it's, those are normal. It's not bad. Those here, small ones there, normal. Man, this color, whew, this piece. Again, it's kind of a mess. I mean, I had an idea of a giant V here and then just two branches. And, you know, it just kind of got away from me with blowing. But maybe I would have gotten a different result had I used my smaller blow dry attachment. I don't know. Anyways, I'm okay with this. I like it a lot. Um, you can see here, the cells are kind of creeping in. So maybe I've added too much white. We'll see. I don't know. All right, guys, once this dries, I'll get it up on the wall. We'll let you see it and then get some crystal clear resin put on it. All right, everyone. We'll see you later. Have a good day. Okay, everyone. Here is the dry result. I am very, very pleased with this. Um, I thought I probably put on too much of colors, um, but it dried great. There was no cracking. Um, I just couldn't be more happier with this. This is going to be such a beautiful piece once I get some crystal resin on it. I'm going to bring you in and we'll start up here. Wonderful cells. Again, right here, these white cells, that's where I think the artist loft and the water is having an issue. Because um, these mini cells here are normal. These are normal too. It's just when you start to see a large cluster like this, I don't think is what is normal. Um, it's just never happened like that before. Um, but yeah, this colors, these colors, wow. I'm loving how it just blends down here in the bottom. Beautiful. Take you up around here and Sorry guys, I had my eyes dilated today, so I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this video done. In any case, I, again, I just, 24 karat gold popping through there. You just really see the details. It's so wonderful. There we go. Okay, guys, if you're interested in this piece that is for sale, email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Leave me some likes, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell that'll let you know when my next video is posted. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.